Movie Zoo. Timelines and sets. More animation examples. Hi, this is Rob. Today our video will be a 360 video that was published as a short story called The Gardener. I'll also be talking about the uh, some spatial considerations related to using 360 and we'll have some 360 uh, clips of this video completed at the end. This video involves one keyframe camera visiting six backyards in this setup. It makes a circuit. The center house on the bottom is Albert Shard. That's where we begin. And we briefly view the activity going on in each individual backyard. This is where we begin Albert's backyard. It's spring break and all of Albert's friends are gone. He's lonely and looking around for something to do. Standing on early in this warm June morning on his back porch. And begins to observe the neighbors and what they're doing. Morning in June. On this clear, warm morning in June. The sun is already high above the hilltops, rising into a solid blue sky. Alfred's friends are gone. Jamie was the last to depart. Gone with her family on a vacation trip to South Carolina. The others are also so Albert or staying at their is getting the idea from looking at the neighbor's yards that uh, growing a garden would be a great idea for him. He's watching the other neighbors and their uh, gardening activities as well as the other activities are doing in their yard. And our camera makes a circuit of this little neighborhood while we're going through the short story. Okay, now we see the camera has left Albert's and it's going over to Mr. Porter's. Now it's in Mr. Porter's yard. We have to move the set a little bit so you can see what's going on here. This is the overhead view. So you can see a little better how what the camera is up to. The camera will be entering from the bottom left side on this view. Okay, I've sped it up a bit. There goes the camera. I sped it up to 4x through here. Simply because not too much happens and it's a long part of the a long part of the video. In 360 it does matter which way you point the camera because if your viewer does not intervene by manually moving the view around, the default view will be the view looking straight out of the camera. The default view is what they will see. So you want the default view to generally be looking straight forward or in the direction where the action is. So now the, the camera view in the window on the left, which are standard movie zoo camera view, isn't really giving you a 360 view, it's giving you four, it's switching through the four different directions and giving you a general idea of what's going on. Okay, now the camera is uh, to your right is leaving, and I'm indicating they're leaving Mr. Porter's yard. And going on to the next yard, over the fence. That will be a small masterpiece. He allows his thoughts to flow without sequence or focus. He experiences. And from Albert's point of view, you can see uh, the couple in their backyard. And the camera moving over them. Okay, this is the overhead view of that yard. The camera is moving towards that little red seesaw there. And the cup was in their backyard enjoying the warm day. This tiny monument to agricultural concepts. 
through the several generations of civilization that have previously lived where our fit lives now. The earth of this space has proved to be a convenient dumping ground. Okay, so this part moves along a little more quickly. The camera's already going over the fence to the next yard at the bottom of the scene. And the next yard is uh, Mr. Many Penny. You can see Mr. Many Penny there sitting on his picnic table. And uh, the camera is passing him there from Albert's point of view. And actually, we have a spotlight on Mr. Many Penny so that he's well lit back there. Okay, this is the overhead view. The camera's coming from top to bottom towards the house there. And you can see the spotlight also. Even with the deposited impurities, the soil of Alfred's garden is rich with layers of earth and residue that have been deposited by uncomfortable... Okay, and now already we're, uh, the camera is passing over into the fourth, fifth, consistency would rather crumble into lifeless powder than to submit fifth to yard this is a lady fundamental gardening she's already moved behind her timeline there i can see her shadow we can't see her the camera is moving now from uh, right to left as it starts to return to albert's the last yard, the sixth yard, uh, over the fence that we're just now approaching, we'll just brush by that. There's really nothing in that yard. You can get a view that way. Now notice the garden. The garden is keyframed. It starts out brown as dirt, and then it keyframes over to uh, green as in grass. You can see there the garden now just changed to green. And as the camera, here, where's the camera? Okay, the camera's coming from right to left again, coming over. There it is, over the fence. It's in the sixth jar now. It's coming back to Albert's. And then the uh, keyframe garden will change back to a vegetable view, sort of. That's my idea of it. Now, okay, the, yeah, the camera's going back over to uh, Albert's porch to basically complete the circuit. The concept is just try to make uh, a circuit of the neighborhood, trying to have some activity in each area so that if a person... Now here's the 360 view using the GoPro VR Player 3.0. And you, if the person, uh, the viewer, clicks or uh, uses some type of control depending on their device, then they can look around as the camera moves. And this is what we've recorded. There's Mr. Manny Penny. And now they're looking at views that we would not normally see with a non-360 camera. Notice also that if we don't uh, change the scene manually, it basically stays where we left it. The camera points basically where we just left it and stays there. Okay, this is the garden view that we were talking about. We're turning around for that. There's Albert, and there's that last yard I was talking about. Okay, you can point the camera straight up or straight down in 360, and you see that black dot there. I guess most people won't do that. And then you uh, can turn it any way that's available there. Okay, that was our Timelines and Sets using 360. I hope you enjoyed this presentation.